Do you have any idea where Anastasia went today? Maybe Madame Anastasia went to the House of the Wongs. What I really want is, as all mothers do, is to make sure that my daughter is out of harm's way and doing good. I do not want to push through with a business deal if it's not Charles I'm talking to. What do you want to do with your life, Charles? I want to live a simple life. I was so happy with Diana. If you still have the tiniest respect left for your father, I ask you to get a hold of your wife. If my brother Charles and his daughter think that they can swim in all of the riches belonging to the Wongs, well, Pavel, they're making a big mistake. The truth is, I heard everything that he said on the phone. He has bad plans for Charles and for Grandfather. But I remember you said that Katarina's car was seen at our beach resort to things. No one can really say if Katarina was indeed inside the car. William just got his ticket to hell, and I got my passport back to the mansion. If it wasn't Katarina, then who? It's someone who has access to your wife Katarina's car. Have I done something you didn't like? Sorry, but listen, there's this thing I have to face in my own, all right? I hope you understand this. But if that's your decision, then I will respect that. Where are you going? Uh, Get them! Hey! Uh, stop! Uh, stop! Let go of us! No. Don't touch me! Back, back, run! No. Stop it! Let's go inside! Let go! Uh, Let go of me! Let go! Get it! Uh, back, Let back! Go. Let go of me! Get me! Going to take that kid. She's my sister. I'm taking her home now. And whoever told you that you could do that? What you're doing is illegal. You're making underage children work for your factory. That's not allowed. I'm going to tell the police. Help me, Grace. You are inside my territory. Here in this area. I am the law. You are the illegal one. You're trespassing. And I have the power to punish you for that. Please have pity on me. Give me back my sister. I promise I won't tell the police. Please, sir, let my sister go. You have many workers inside anyway. I promise you I will never tell the police. Do you want me to be the one to punish you? It was your mistake for trespassing here. Let go of me! Kill that woman. Hey! Get out! Oh. Grace, tell me what happened. What the? I followed Mrs. Remy. I already found the factory where they brought Beck Beck. So what did you do? I tried to get Beck Beck out. They caught you, right? Stop shouting. Have you seen my mobile? I haven't. But I remember leaving it inside the room. Where did it go? I have the phone that William was using. Remember when he was talking to someone? Can I see it? Who is that Edward Wong? I don't know this person. For as long as I can remember, I haven't met an Edward Wong. But I'm sure that this is important to William. And George doesn't know about this. I'm very surprised by your phone call, Mr. Kong. <laughs> I hope I heard you right. I seriously thought your business is tied up with the Wong Enterprises. Isn't that right? Not anymore. Scratch that. Their business is about to go down. 
I want part of the C Corporation. It's new and strong and very aggressive. I think that's the reason why he was threatening me. That I should not talk to anyone about whatever I heard, Mother. He can no longer give you threats. What are you planning? If I knew where it was, would I be asking you? I have no idea where it is. I don't use your mobile phone. You have to look for it. I'm expecting a very important call. And who would be calling you? Just do it! You need to find my mobile phone, Margaret! I'm certain that this will make Helena see happy when she finds out that you want her to be your business partner. Okay, please set my meeting with Helena C. I want it on a full moon for good luck. I will definitely call you back to confirm the meeting, Mr. Kong. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. My plan? My plan is to get back in the mansion. I want payback for all the bad things they've done to me. So if I were you, I'd fix my papers and have them signed by your grandfather. I already have a feeling that William's not getting anything from this family. And you'll be the heiress. So you want me to be the villain in William's life? You know what, William? You won't find your mobile phone by getting mad. If my mobile phone gets in the wrong hands, we'll have a big problem. You can't do it? Of course I can. <laughs> I am your daughter after all. I'm just like you. Just keep quiet, okay? Bite your tongue, or you might get into trouble. Here, let's talk later. Okay. It will be a big loss to Wong Enterprises now that we have a partnership with Mandarin Builders. <laughs> I'm sure George Wong is seething with anger now. So that means I'll be setting your meeting with Mr. Kong on Thursday. Oh, go ahead. By the way, I will meet with him alone on Thursday, okay? I won't bring you with me. Uh, why, Auntie? Because you've become too weak. When it comes to transactions that have something to do with Charles and with your daughter. You have betrayed my trust, Anastasia. Hey. Is there something bothering you? Your grandmother's mad at me. Why would you say that, Mother? Because she doesn't want me to tag along in some important meeting. Did she say why? According to her, I'm not focused enough at work. Out of ten things that I did well, and commit one tiny mistake, everything else becomes nothing. Uh, madam? Yes, what is it? Madam? Can I ask you a favor? About what? I was planning to ask you if I could get paid in advance. I think you're aware, Grace, that your job is just commission-based. You don't have a regular salary, so I can't pay you in advance. It's difficult when you lose someone's trust. You have to prove yourself again. I understand you. What's wrong, Andrew? Are you going through something? There's... There's this girl I've been seeing, Mother. I thought we were okay, but she's suddenly ignoring me lately. I don't even know why. Maybe you've done something that she didn't like, Andrew, don't you think? But that's the thing. I have no idea why she's mad at me. Uh, have you asked her if there's a problem? Even if it's just a little amount, madam, that will be a big help. <laughs> you know what, Grace? You're a really good saleswoman. If you just work a little harder and exert all your effort, and you finally reach the required quota of your sales, then you will earn so much money in no time. But why wouldn't she tell me? I'd be glad to help her. Sometimes there are people that want to solve their problems on their own, son. Thank you for your advice, madam. I will do my best. Don't you ever lose hope, Grace. You can do it. I believe that you can do this, you know? Thank you very much, madam. What do you think I should do now, mother? Should I just give up on her? Do you really love her? Because if you really do, you should fight for her. But what if I'm really not her type? And 
Andrew, how would you know that if you won't ever give it a chance? Don't you be like me, okay? I gave up on love in the past. Don't do the same. Thank you, Mother. Just don't tell your grandmother, okay? I won't. Oh, here it is. Oh my. This Edward Wong will be a challenge to us. And he looks so scary too. No wonder William can betray his father just like that. <laughs> William's holding on to this Edward Wong. What are you doing here? Charles, I'm your wife. It is my right to live here. Until this investigation is over, you have no right to set foot in my house. <laughs> I don't understand why you're so mad at me. Why don't you find out more about your brother, William? I honestly think he has more reason to get rid of your precious Diana. And what would his motives be? I'm very happy that you chose to entrust your business to our company. I don't see my business growing with Wong Enterprises. That William, he's bad luck to George Wong. Hmm. I honestly believe in karma. I'm thinking all the bad things they've done are coming back to them and they're beginning to feel the pain. Is that why Edward Wong is coming back to our country? So you'll lose focus. And then you'll get sick of the family business, and make your father mad. Isn't that what just happened? Not going to work, Katarina, is my own decision. Is it also your decision to have your brother communicate with your uncle Edward Wong? He's coming back? Edward Wong? What I heard from the business community, Edward Wong will be released soon, and he'll be returning to the country. What are you trying to say? Just like you, Charles, I've been conducting my own investigation. I do not like being blamed for something I did not do, you know. And in my investigation, I found out that there is a connection between William and your Uncle Edward. I'll leave you now. I'm going upstairs. Oh, go ahead, madam. So, sir, here it is. Uh, here's your change, sir. Thank you so much. Madam, sir, take a look at this. You're just in time. Emergency. Look what we have here. Is this effective? That's right. Three is this in even one. You? Flashlight, radio, all you need, madam. Sir, according to the records, a lot of money has been wired to an account in Hong Kong. How did you let this transaction happen? How could you? Well, Sir William had direct authority on this, sir. And how much money has been transferred to that account? Almost 50 million of your business gains has been transferred to the account. When this lamp chain switched on, madam, Grace, on. Grace, I'm sorry, I know you're busy, but can we please talk later? Uh, Andrew, can't you see? I'm working here, stop disturbing me. So, please, madam, Grace, so I was saying earlier, talk to this me. light's brighter. Just give me a minute, please. please. Please give me a break, Andrew, because my supervisor might see me. I might get scolded, so just get out of here. 50 million of our business gains? No wonder our company is suffering. Sir. I've always wanted to give you the financial statement of your company, but Sir William has always stopped me from doing so. Um, he would always say that all his transactions are legal. Sir, I'm just an ordinary employee of your company, and Sir William is my direct manager. I don't have the right to question or doubt his authority. Why do you have bruises on your face? Uh, come on, Andrew, don't mind that. What do you mean? Who did that to you? Nothing. It was just an accident. Are you getting it? How much is it? It's 450, madam. This girl is seriously testing product. my patience. <laughs> Auntie? Why are you crying?
The demon is coming back. What do you mean? He's coming back. Edward Wong. Am I here because you want to apologize? And tell me that firing me was a mistake? William. How could you do this to me? What did I do now? You stole from me. You thief! Auntie, tell me, who is Edward Wong? He is the elder brother of George Wong. Since when have you been talking to Uncle Edward? <laughs> what are you two talking about? How could I be talking to Uncle Edward? Isn't he in jail? Didn't we agree that we won't ever talk about him, not ever? Fifty million! Of our business gains! With only one signature! And you! Signed everything! The evidence is there! What now? What do you think? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, we don't have Grace, that. I'm not this going anywhere until you talk to me, okay? Good. I'm not leaving. Then wait there if you want to. Even so, I'm not going to talk to you. Okay, madam, are you getting one? Wait! Excuse me. Yes, miss? Do you know that girl over there? Yes, I do. I supervise her. What is this? What is this? Are you ganging up on me to disown me? You're a thief. You're a liar. You traitor! But why are you so afraid of him, aunt? <laughs> because... I am no match when it comes to Edward Wong's viciousness. And I am afraid. Knowing that he can ruin all I have worked hard for. I want you to leave my house. Leave now. I don't want to see your face ever again. You will not get anything from me. Nothing. Not ever. This will come back to you. Remember that. There will come a day when you will pay for what you've done to me and Uncle Edward! What are you waiting for? Get out of my house! Get out! That's right! It seems that you don't really know her. You mean you hire people and don't check their background? Why would you say that? Is there something we should know about her? Come on, Grace! Give it up, Andrew, please. Go home now. Leave me alone, I'm begging you, Andrew. Madam, I'll give you the new one. We have some new stocks here, madam. Oh, well, thank you. It's 450, madam. Do I get a freebie? I see you're back, Katarina. And I see you're leaving. Don't be too comfortable about where you are now, Katarina. And where should I feel more comfortable, huh? With Edward Wong? Grace, can I talk to you right now? Oh, but of course. What is it, madam? Is it true that you have a criminal record? Huh? That's not true, madam. Where would you get that idea? I would never have one. Grace, there's no point denying. Someone told me earlier that you have a history of stealing in the previous company you worked for. But that's not true, I'm telling you now! Who would tell you that, madam? That person is lying! You were the one who told father, and that's why you're back here. You're a very bad boy, William. You put yourself on the wrong side, Katharina. <laughs> Where Charles is, I'm there too. Oh, really? All right. I'll see you again once I get this mansion back, Katharina, okay? And why would this person lie to me? Madam, this person's making it up and I don't know why! Who said this? Come on now, Grace. You have to go. I'll take Madam, care of this. please believe what I'm saying. That woman hates me so much and I have no idea why. You need to submit a police clearance so that you have proof that you're innocent. But 
If you can't prove to me that you're free of criminal records, then I'm sorry, Grace, but I'd have to fire you from your job. Madam! What is that? My mother's necklace. Mother's necklace, or is that Diana's? I was with Diana every day, Charles. I always saw her wearing that. There's no need to lie anymore. Yes, this is Diana's. This is all I have left to remind me of her. Give me that. Why? Because she's dead now. I know. Diana's gone now. But she still lives in my heart and soul. You? You're alive. But you've been dead to me for a long time now. <laughs> Father. This is Mother's necklace that you gave to Diana. I'm giving it back to you. You know what, Charles? If your mother were still alive, her heart would bleed because of what William did. I can't understand why William would betray us like that. I want you to pick me up right where you dropped me off. Okay. Hey! What did I do to you? Why did you do that? Because I spilled food on you at the restaurant? Are you threatening me? Are you going to hurt me? Remember, you're not in a good position. I just want to know my destiny now that Diana's dead. Will Charles love me now? Huh? Diana is dead now? That's impossible. What's impossible? Because in my prediction, Diana still has a lot to offer for the Wong family, you know? I'm begging you, please take back what you said. I really need this job right now. And why would I do that for you? Because I'm asking you nicely. You can never get my support. I want to see you suffer some more. You know, back in the day, I already had problems with William. When he was in school. I was already worried about your brother. Even when it comes to our business, we can never trust William at all. I wonder how William was able to get in touch with Uncle Edward. Tell me why he's so mad at me. What is your problem? Because you are becoming too fortunate. You have no right to be happy. You make me sick. Get out of my way. I agree. Because even now that she's gone, she's still a hindrance between me and Charles. It seems that she still lives in that necklace she left here that Charles is protecting. And where is this necklace? Charles has it. That William ever since, whenever I would scold him, he would run to his uncle Edward. He feels secure with Edward. And now what, father? Now they're traitors to our family. Oh, goodness! Do you know what can happen because of that? What? If you put that pendant next to... the one you customized, the one Elizabeth is wearing, then it would be obvious that it's a fake. They don't look the same. Then I need to get that pendant. Aren't you filthy rich? You can buy anything and everything you want. Why would you want to take from me when I barely have anything? I don't understand. And what kind of person are you? You enjoy watching people suffering? Does that give you happiness? Then that only means one thing. You are not happy with your life. Get away. So Edward is taking advantage of William's weaknesses. Edward knows that in order to hurt me, he has to use one of my sons against me. Now I understand why he always preferred William. They're alike in many ways. I just hope William will not do to me.
what Edward did to our father years ago. So tell me, what's new about Elizabeth Wong? I'm sorry, Grandmother, but I haven't talked with her yet. But didn't I tell you, Andrew, that you should get to know her? Why didn't you do so? I've been focusing on my work. Or are you starting to like somebody else? You know what? I heard that you did something stupid at the factory. You should be grateful because Kajo's men didn't rape you. I went there because I wanted to see Beg Beg. I just wanted to see how she's doing. Did you bring the money? Whoever that is. Break up with her this instant. What I want is for you to know more about Elizabeth Wong. But grandmother... No buts. Get Elizabeth's trust, okay? And it would be better if... you'll be in a relationship with her. I have a lot on my plate at work, grandmother. Anyway, Mrs. Remy, can you please give me more time to come up with the money? I'm trying my best. Well, it's all up to you. I just really want to see Beg Beg. Well, no money, no Beg Beg. Consider this a job that has to be done. Why would you want us to be in a relationship? Let's just say we need... to keep the money in the family. Do you understand me? Of course. I'm begging you, please, Mrs. Remy. You know what, Grace? Don't you dare go back to the factory. Kajo's men will not let you go that easily. If you're really concerned about that kid, as you are saying, then you should have thought about it. Did you know that because of what you did, Beck Beck wasn't given food the whole day just because of you? Stop pestering me. Witch! I thought you already forgot about me. I'm just busy at the office. Did you call me because you're already missing me? There, you idiot. Oh, just in case you're free tonight. Maybe we can have dinner. Oh, okay. Wait a bit. Let me check my schedule. Hey. Beauty, I appreciate this. Because you called me right away. Of and course. you're lending me money. I really don't mind. Wait a bit. This is my extra cash. There you go. This is... Here. This is embarrassing. Can you stop that? Come on, take this, Grace. I'm just helping. Uh, take you. it. Actually, I'm the one who should be ashamed. That's only 2,000. You know, I also have obligations at home, right? Thank you, Beauty. This is more than enough. Thank you so much, Beauty. Thank goodness I'm free. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll pick you up then. Okay, I'll wait for you. Just text me when you're already outside, okay? Okay, bye. See you later. Bye, Andrew. Why don't you just ask help from Andrew? I bet that's just nothing to him. I'm too ashamed to ask. <laughs> Goodness, don't be ashamed, you know what? Andrew seems like a good man, and he also loves you. You should just remember that this is for Beck Beck. And who are you talking to? I have a date. Who are you going out with? Hmm. Since when did you start to care? Oh, come on. Stop acting like a mother. It doesn't suit you. Hmm? What's going to happen now? What I am seeing is something bad's coming. Trouble. What exactly do you mean? Blood of a lady. The daughter of the cursed will come back here. Thank you. What crossed your mind, Andrew? What made you ask me out for drinks? <laughs> Should there be a reason for me to ask you out? There's a lot of girls out there that you can ask out. Take, for example, Grace. Here you go. I don't know. I don't know how to. Oh, okay then, I'll text him. What's his number? Uh, here it is. Okay, just give me the digits. Hey, why aren't you talking? Who am I with tonight? It's me. 
so there's no need to mention any other names. Okay, fine. Well, can you please tell me what you like in a woman, Andrew? Tell me. Someone who's nice to be with, knows herself, loves mm -hmm. her family, and she should be sweet. So do you like me? Yes, of course. Well, I like you too. And for your information, you don't even have to court me anymore. I really don't believe in courtship. And um, when two people meet and they like each other, that's that. Am I right? Uh, uh, give me a minute. I'll go to the men's room. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, Andrew, you left your phone. <sighs> the nerve of this beggar, my goodness. <sighs> Aren't you ashamed? that you are borrowing money from me, Grace. He replied. What did he say? Uh. Hey, what did he say? You left your phone. Oh, right. Are you waiting for a call or a text? He's such a jerk! I didn't expect this from him. You should be grateful you found out what kind of person he really is. Uh, no, I'm not. So, Andrew, when are you going to introduce me to your family? Uh, why would you want to meet my family so soon? But of course, Andrew. If we are in a relationship, then it's only right that you introduce me to your family. And if it's okay with you, I want you to meet my father and my grandfather. Oh, really? I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but I'm just so busy at work. Then why did you invite me for drinks, Andrew? To get to know you more. Okay. Andrew, I really like you. And what I hate is to see you with another woman, okay? It's so embarrassing, Beauty. I feel so ashamed. Hey, take it easy, Grace. Calm down. I shouldn't have asked him. So what do you plan to do now? No matter what happens, I'm never going to ask help from him again. By the way, what time do you need to get home? And another thing I don't like is when you change the topic, Andrew. I want you to be straightforward. Tell me if you like me or not. Are you sure, Grace? Yes. I will do everything that I can to get Beck Beck back. I will never ask help from that Andrew again. Uh, of course. I like you. I want you to be a good friend. That's all I want. Just a friend? Are you willing to do anything? Of course! Even work as a maid? Yes, that's so easy. I can do that. It's just household chores. Then we've solved your problem. Why don't you go look for an agency? They can pay in advance if needed. I'm sure they do that. Really? Tomorrow, go look for one. Grace, why are you holding on to that again? Because I really think that this is the only way for us to...
to take Bag Bag back from those men, Nato. Remember. That's your only remembrance of your family, Grace. Are you sure about that? You're selling it? Yes. I just hope that my mother will forgive me for this. Whoever she is and wherever she is now. So how was it? How was your date with Elizabeth? It went well, Grandmother. That's good. What I want is for you to know her more, Andrew. Try to be much closer to her so that you will know everything about what's happening in the Wong family. I'll do that. I really think that Elizabeth is already falling for me, Grandmother. You came home late. Where have you been? <laughs> oh yes, because I was on a date. Date? You mean to tell me you were out with a man last night? That's right. Good. That's brilliant. Thing is, I don't love her. There's someone else I like. What do you want? I want to apply as a maid in your agency. And what can you do? I can do everything that's asked of me. All around? Yes, I assure you, I can do it. Here. Somebody is looking for a maid. Mm -hmm. Come back yes. tomorrow for your first assignment and uh -huh. then bring the required papers. And you'll also be signing a contract. Okay, madam. Tomorrow? You got it. I'll see you, okay? I'll be back. Thank you so much, madam. Oh, there's no need for you to love her back. Not even like her. What's important to me is that you get Elizabeth's trust. That way, we will find out everything that we need to know about their family. Is he also Chinese? Yes, Grandfather. That was one of the mistakes of your father. Is he from a well-known family? They're very wealthy, and they have a successful business. But I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh my goodness, Andrew. You're just like your mother, Anastasia. You always involve your emotions. I want you to see him, Grandfather. Here he is. What is the name of this young man, Elizabeth? Andrew C. You, Andrew, and Anastasia. I adopted you both. Because of one mission. He's related to Helena C? And that is to bring down the Wongs. Do you understand me? You will stop going out with this young man, Elizabeth. Do you understand me? Uh, I do. Do as I say. Of course. Why do you have to have that pawn? Even if I get an advance from the agency, it won't be enough, Nato. Don't we have any other plans? To get Beg Beg back? Nato, I'm fighting time here, okay? I need to have this pond right away because Beg Beg is in danger, you know? Good morning. What can I do for you, miss? I'll have this pond, please. This is a rare type of stone. It's a rare antique. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a good thing you came here. Okay, I'll give you a good price for your precious stone. How much can you give me for it? 10,000, miss. Really? 10,000? That's just what I need. Thank you so much, madam. I really appreciate okay, it. Okay, I'll give you 10,000, but make sure that you come back and get it, okay? Because it's too precious for you to just leave it. This is your treasure, you know. Uh, okay. <sighs> 
ten thousand, miss. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay, please come again. <laughs> Thank you. Hello? Is this Santa Zita Agency? This is Grace Moyari speaking. Yes. I just called to ask if somebody hired me. Uh, should I just call later? Oh, okay. I'll just call you tomorrow. Okay, then. Thank you, madam. Here you go. Grace, can you please talk to me? Uh, I have so much to do. I don't have time for you. I'm busy. Leave me alone. Grace, just give me a minute. This won't take long. Please, Grace, please talk to me. I don't have time. I told you I'm busy. And look, just so you know, Andrew, I don't care about your money. What? Go away. Andrew, surprise. Elizabeth, hi. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? I am visiting you, and I bought pizza for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, where's your mother? I want to get to know her. Uh, she's not here today. Huh? Is that so? Yes, uh... Excuse me, Andrew. Uh, excuse me for a bit. Uh, I've already visited that agency that you wanted me to check out. Santa Zita Agency. That's where Grace is applying. And she owes about 6,000. Really? Okay, uh, please take care of that 6,000. So she doesn't need to work for it. Grace Maliari, that's her name. Grace Maliari. Remember that. Mm. Right. Okay. Elizabeth, sorry, I was just taking care of something. No, it's okay. I don't want to disturb you while you're working. I'll go ahead, okay? Really? Okay. Please take care, huh? Of course. Please eat the pizza. I bought that <laughs> especially for you. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. Is this the Santa Zita Agency? I am in need of a maid. I know someone who needs a job there. It's Grace Maliari. That's her. Just 6,000? That's not a problem. I will give you 10,000 in cash, but you have to make sure that you are going to give her to me. I'll be expecting her tomorrow. All right, goodbye. Uh, what's that, grandfather? Look at this. This is exactly the same as the one you, the one that you have. Uh, I they see. are both made from the same material the same size, because this happens to be the pair of jade earrings of your late grandmother. Uh. Here, take a look. I was the one who called the agency to hire me a personal servant. It's you? Hey, uh. you're not done with your chores just yet. Why don't you eat now? I don't want them to think that I'm starving you. You were so ah, hard-headed, ah, Elizabeth. Come here. Ah, what did go. I tell you? Ah. Elizabeth's my daughter. She's just a maid. Leave this house. It's time that the meeting happens with Charles Swong and you as attorney Anastasia C. We have to make another pendant just like this one. As big as this one. Elizabeth, I need your necklace. Benny, I need you to investigate something. There was bribery. That's why Dragon Holdings was able to buy our Avenida property. I need you to stand your ground. I want to destroy Helena. The battle has already begun, so better prepare yourself. What goes around comes around. Those who owe me will pay. I hate you so much, Father! Brace yourself! It's going to be the end for you soon! What are we going to do now? I can't always avoid George. He might suspect me then. I don't know. My plans aren't complete yet. Are you saying that I'm a liar, Helena? You are a thief! I'm warning you, your days are numbered! It's time for payback. Someone's looking for Sir George. Who? Why are you ruining my reputation? This was all caused by your family's doing. That you wanted all along! Ah! George! George! What did you do to my father? Nothing! Put that woman in prison! I didn't do anything! Let go of me, please! I was not the one who shot George Wong! People of the Philippines versus Helena C. for murder. The prosecution calls its first witness. Edward Wong. 